Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now it's time to introduce type 3. So in type 3, we would learn how to construct quadrilaterals when some of the sides and some of the angles are given. So let's have a look. So here we will learn to draw quadrilaterals with two sides and three angles. So you see we started with type 1 where we needed the measurement for all the four sides. Now we reached at type 3 where we need only two sides provided three angles are given. So let's see how will we draw this. Let's say you have to construct a quadrilateral MORE such that MO is equal to 6 cm, OR is equal to 4.5 cm, angle M equal to 60 degree, angle O is equal to 105 degree and angle R is equal to 105 degrees. So let us quickly draw a rough sketch. So let us say this is our rough quadrilateral. Say M O R E. So here it is given that angle O is equal to 105 degrees. So this is 105 degree. Angle R is equal to 105 degrees again. Angle M is equal to 60 degrees. M O that is this side is equal to 6 centimeters and O R is equal to 4.5 centimeters. So these are the values that are given to us. So how do you think we will start drawing this quadrilateral? So it, we'll start drawing it in exactly the same way as you can see in this rough sketch. So we will start with OR. We will first draw the OR line. Now can you tell me why? Because for OR, we know both these angles. We know angle R, we also know angle O. In fact, you can also start with MO because in MO, you know this angle as well as this angle. So the line which you are drawing first becomes the base. So over that, you draw other things. So it is always good to choose a line whose length is known to you, the angles on which is known to you. So that's why we will choose to draw this line before. So what we do first of all we draw OR of length 4.5 centimeters. So once we have drawn this now is our turn to draw angle O and angle R. Now in your previous classes you have learned how to draw angles. Now you can draw an angle using a protractor. You can also draw an angle using a compass. Now prefer using a compass so that you can do the entire construction with the help of a ruler and a compass. So how do you draw uh, an angle of 105 degree using a compass? So let's quickly remember. Now even before we draw 105 degree, first we have to draw a 90 degrees. So only then we will be able to draw a 105 degree. So what we do is you keep the center here and you draw an arc like this. And then what you do? You draw an arc here that is keeping the center here you draw an arc here which is nothing but your 60 degrees again you keep the center here and draw an arc which is equal this distance and this distance should be equal so how much would be this angle this would be 120 degrees and 90 degree that is the perpendicular lies exactly between 60 and 120 so keeping your center at this point you draw an arc here Keeping your center at this point, you draw another arc here and that's how you draw a 90 degree. Now once you have drawn the 90 degree, how will you draw 105 degree? Now if you look at it closely, that 105 degree lies exactly in between of 90 degree and 120 degree. So basically if we draw an angle bisector between 90 and 120 we will get an 105 degree. So this is our 90 degree this dotted line and this point is our 120 degree. So from here you draw another arc like this from here you draw another arc like this and then these two arcs meet at this point and you draw a straight line like this. So basically in this case this entire angle becomes 100 5 degrees. So this is how you draw 105 degrees. Now in case you do not remember how we had to draw, please refer the mathematics videos of junior classes to 
learn once again or to recap once again how to draw these angles now like this you draw an angle r of angle 105 degree in a similar way you draw angle o equals 205 degrees so here also this angle o is nothing but 105 degrees so you have drawn two angle two angles now what you have to do now let us try to find right let us try to find this distance mo because we know the distance mo as six centimeters so you pl place the center of your compass here and you draw an arc at any point on this line at a distance of six centimeters so wherever you draw that arc let's say you draw that arc somewhere here so that would mean that this point will be point m because the distance om is given as six centimeters now once you have drawn this so you have actually drawn most of the most part of this diagram so now you are left with angle 60 degrees so now you have to draw angle m so now here again you would draw angle m in a similar way so you actually draw like this and then from here and from here you make the first cut that is you keep the center of your compass here and then you draw an arc here so here what you get is nothing but 60 degrees so this angle is 60 degrees so that's how you draw angle m and then this line would meet this line somewhere at this point and this point is nothing but point E and that is how you get this uh, quadrilateral more M O R E so you see in this case when you know the angles the for any construction the first thing that you need to decide is from where do you need to start which is that first line that you would draw and in this case where you have three angles and two sides always prefer to draw that side first for which you know both the angles so that with would prepare the base of your construction so that will help you to construct the quadrilateral in a nice way so this is how we are able to construct a quadrilateral with two sides and three angles so let's have a quick recap so here draw the side or with known length and angles so because for or we knew the length of or and we also knew that these angles on or that is angle o and angle r they, their values were also known to us then draw angle r draw angle o and identify the point m knowing the length om because we knew the length of om is uh, six centimeters so knowing this length it was easy to find out where the point m is then draw angle M which was given as 60 degrees and then draw ME because E was that point where this line and this line they met. So that point was E. So draw ME. So what is the result? The result is more is a quadrilateral. So we get a quadrilateral. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.